Hello everyone and welcome to Taste Test with Mike. Uh, today for lunch I don't really feel like anything, uh, you know, like a sandwich or anything like that. I don't really want to eat much. So I got these Breakstone Cottage Doubles. Pineapple Cottage Doubles. Breakstone's Pineapple Dog. Pineapple Cottage Doubles. I can't hardly say it. I got these at Kroger. You can probably, I think Breakstones is pretty much everywhere. Um, you know, I could be wrong, but I think you all should be able to get it. It says from their New York dairy store in 1882 to the delicious cottage cheese and sour cream we love today. So, um, yeah, I just wanted something kind of light for lunch. It's got this one side here has the cottage cheese in it and this one one you can flip over like that it's got the pineapple in it i think there's other flavors too but that's the only flavor that uh kroger had um and i got i bought i had a 50 cent rebate on these and i got these 10 for a dollar and i bought like five of them i think because that was all it would allow up to five on the uh, rebates so i got these for 50 cents they had a 50 cent rebate on them and they like i said they were 10 for 10 so that made them half price or less than half price I think they're like a dollar 49 regular price so I'm taking the top off well I need to do the nutrition facts first uh, if you eat the whole thing it's hundred and twenty calories total fat two and a half grams is three percent saturated fat 1.5 grams is seven percent trans fat zero cholesterol 15 milligrams is six percent Sodium 390 milligrams is 17%. Carbs 12 grams, 4%. No fiber. Sugars 10 grams and 4 grams of added sugars is 8%. 12 grams of protein, that's good, uh, is 24%. 10% uh, of calcium, 4% uh, of potassium, and 7% of vitamin A. And I didn't know this. I've seen, I'm looking at the you know the ingredients and stuff and it says Kraft Heinz Food Company so Kraft Foods owns Breakstone and you know what I never knew that till just now I never knew that that Kraft uh, owned Breakstone I'll be you live and learn and what's it say on the bottom here Joseph and Isaac Breakstone's tradition of crafting high quality dairy is the cornerstone of all we do so, real California milk, it says. Okay, it's 2% milk fat, low fat cottage cheese, and pineapple topping. So, I'm going to take the top off here. Maybe I should do this so you can see it. Okay. And for one thing, I think that's kind of a neat. I don't know if there's a glare on that. I'm trying to get a picture. Okay, so I want to spill it or anything. So you see here, you do that, but uh, you end up using your spoon to get it all out. Mm -hmm. A little bit of it. I'm going to mix it up. I love pineapple and cottage cheese. Oh, hold on a minute. Okay, let me add some more. Only thing I would wish for is uh, more pineapple. It's got a sufficient amount. I mean, you can taste it. It's 
So my lunch will come in at 120 calories today. It's not bad. I've lost. I'm still right at nine pounds. I've lost. I, I don't know why I can't. Seems like I can't. I need to exercise more probably to get more off. Really, very good. And good for you. I know we've had other flavors of this before. Cobra doesn't have a very big section of um, cottage cheese. It's in this little cooler. Instead of like on the ones that are built into the wall, it's like in this little cooler they got sitting out. It's kind of weird. I really like this, you know. If you want it for a, a quick snack, you could have it with a meal. You know, if you want some... I, I don't see anything wrong with having stuff like... Um, cottage cheese with some kind of fruit. Or just cottage cheese with a meal. Or, um, like a... Uh, applesauce or fruit like cinnamon apples or peaches or I, I never have seen anything wrong with having that with your with your meal I know a lot of people don't have uh, even applesauce but I love applesauce we all do so why not it's nice outside today by the way, today's Tuesday. This won't come out for a few days. I love it. And, you know, it's easy. It's real, real portable. Of course, it'd have to be cold. You have to keep them refrigerated. Not done. That's just enough for me. I don't want to get hungry now till dinner. Okay. I'm gonna try that um I'm gonna try the pizza dough that I got from Aldi we're trying tonight. Let me show it to you. you if you watch the haul, you'll see it. But yeah, I don't, I don't remember how much it was either. Not a whole lot. Look at that. Pizza dough. And that's from Aldi. It's Mama Cozy's. So I'm making a pizza tonight. Homemade pizza using that. Now, that'll be interesting. I've never used something like that. I used, um, I've made dough before out of a mix, but I've never had that. So I'm, I'll be interested to see how good that is. I bet it's really good though. But, um, so yeah, that made me feel a little better. I was hungry, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to eat anything big or anything or, you know, much much of anything that that's just perfect for me so i hope y'all enjoyed this taste test with mike um, if you did i hope you'll press that like button also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out um i hope everybody has a great day and I haven't done one of these in a little while, so I thought I would, you know, I, sometimes I do uh, taste tests on morning coffee break, but I try to make that, uh, this probably would have worked for morning coffee break too, because I try to make that more like a, a breakfasty type item, or maybe a brunch type, you know, something like that. But 
Um, I haven't done one, um, you know, in a while like this, you know, just a taste test with Mike. So I need to do it more often. I have some things in there I haven't tried that I got. Uh, I think the majority of them are from Dollar Tree. You know, I've got them in uh, freezer bags to make sure they don't, you know, get freezer burn or anything. But uh, I need to start doing more of them because I, I got them. That's what I bought them for. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great day and we'll see you later on. God bless.